Here we are at the Frankfurt airport going to Sofia, Bulgaria to discover one of the most incredible companies in Arkvis that's over there. It's gonna be super interesting. A flight of only about two and a half hours takes you from the heart of Europe, Frankfurt am Main in Germany, to Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria and one of the countries at the continent's most external border. Landed in Bulgaria, it's cold. This relatively small country in the heart of the Balkans has breathtaking nature and thousands of years of history. The country very rich history is also due to its location between the west and the east, which led to a multiplicity of influence from the Byzantine culture to the post-World War II socialist years. Since the 1990s, Bulgaria has been going through its period of transition from a communist state to a member of the European Union. Despite the fact that this transition did not occur without much controversy, multiple world leader companies in various industries, including Arquis, were born during this period. Among others, Red Vertex, which we're visiting today. Here we are arriving at the Red Vertex office. I can show you the logo. You can see they are very cool graffiti in a building when you get in. Okay guys, here we are with Risto and Petia. They both work at uh, Red Vertex. So it is a surprising company among all the different landscapes you could see in Bulgaria. So you can present yourself shortly and tell the people what do you do here at Red Vertex, how long mm -hmm. you are. We are both uh, managers and team leads of uh, different teams. Uh, I am associate uh, director in the in the company. Uh, I have been working here for six years almost, uh, associate CG artist, team lead, project management. How many people you are in the office more or less? Here in, in Sofia I think um, more 100. than 160. Yeah, 160. Oh, it's, like, it's, yeah. it's huge. And, and you have offices also in Dubai? Uh, London, uh, Belgrade as well yeah. yeah so it's a very international company yeah. and you work also internationally for the whole world or are there certain regions you mainly serve for the whole world america saudi arabia UAE. UA. Yeah. yeah yeah so let's have a tour around the office and let's see what it's behind the doors of red <laughs> vertex <laughs> There is a very funny thing in this office. You can see, guys, I have these funny covers on my shoes because there is a story behind this. So, yeah. so what is uh, it about? Um, this is the, the shoe rack for the, for the office and in, on the three uh, floors we have these because we all wear slippers <laughs> to be comfortable uh, in, the, in the office. This is the, the story of our founders and the first story of the, of the office is that they had to kind of take off their shoes just to be comfortable and to to work um, in the in the office and it kind of became like a practice to take slippers and this translates now in the in all yeah. offices here we have to wear these these slippers and be comfortable in the in the office uh, space yeah it sounds funny we're gonna see some definitely funny shoes i yeah. saw around the office <laughs> dogs cats and and so on yeah people are using it as fashion now because this is the only shoe you can show inside so, here they are petias and pistols <laughs> they are very very, very ar architects yeah. gray and dark blue and yeah, exactly. um, i couldn't uh, notice that you have also this very cool graffiti yeah. when you enter the office spaces mm -hmm. uh, what is this about? We have uh, awesome graffiti artists in, in Bulgaria actually. Uh, these graffiti are done by Arsec and Erase. Two very cool guys and they've done all the graffiti in the in the office. On all three floors we'll, yeah. we are going to, to see all of them. Yeah. We're actually starting from the smallest one. So this is like a small graffiti wall. <laughs> You're gonna see some big stuff. It's yeah. really exciting. Yeah. I'm looking forward, so let's go to the next checkpoint. Here we are in the kitchen, the cool red vertex neon light and also something very typical for Bulgaria, chocolate. In Bulgaria you bring chocolate at work and at your friends whenever you have your birthday, your name's day, you have a kid, you're quitting, all good things. <laughs> Here we can see one of the main rooms, probably, guys. Yeah, this yeah, is the this third is the floor. Uh, we have all 3D teams here only. 3D teams? Yeah. yeah. So uh, here the guys are all modeling some stuff that are coming from clients. Yeah, before. from clients for projects, yeah. It's not only modeling, it's uh, the full CGI process is, is done here. We have the modeling team over there that it's just focused on modeling. This is like a small part of the 3D teams, actually. 
So how does it work? Your clients send you their project, whether it's a 3D model or a sketch, and then mm -hmm. you remodel it completely from ground? Yeah. or most of the times. Uh, sometimes it's just CAD file with the drawing, and you have to build it up with no models. Or and just reference images, most of the times, actually. Like, can everybody model and then do post-production? Or Actually, we, are, we have our own post-production team. So here the, the people are doing, let's say, the, the modeling, uh, setting up the scene, and then rendering. And afterwards, we have on the fourth floor, yeah. you see the, the post-production team. The post-production is done there. Because always there are drafts, right? So you first mm -hmm. send some white models to the clients yeah, yeah. to see mm -hmm. the composition, maybe some color grading. Is from here that the first drafts are coming? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. we have our own project managers uh, that uh, are actually working on the on the project, and they're going to to send all the drafts that are, that everybody is doing in the in the team. And afterwards, then the the post production is is done after. Yeah, ma main communication with clients is uh, done from the three D teams actually. Yeah. So. Whenever we have something to send, no matter if it's with post-production or not, we, we send it here, from mm -hmm. here. So we went to another floor. You can see it's literally everywhere with the shoes when you get in, jackets. It feels like the Bulgarian kindergarten, it's similar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have the Christmas tree, so it's very cozy actually. Yeah, this yeah. is the, the kitchen space here on the fourth floor, and also the, the party space. <laughs> <laughs> we have our parties here. You, you mean the tennis table where we play tennis? Mm -hmm. Or uh, <laughs> what is it called? Like the drinking games with the balls, probably. Oh. It's something beer happening. Pong. Beer pong. <laughs> also, you guys are a lot of people, so you need a bigger room, I guess, like this one. Yeah. I see over there you have a green screen room. Yes, this is the green screen here. All oh, the lights and, and stuff, also we have some, some of the computers and... What kind of work do you do inside here? Like, you have your, your own people in yeah, cutouts? If, if we need custom-made people that we need to, to shoot here and then yeah. cut out, uh, we, we do it here in the, in the green screen. Are you the models or...? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes yeah. when, <laughs> when we don't have the, the time to actually prepare the, the actors and, and so on, we just shoot ourselves. Yeah. Hey, we need a person that is doing this or is doing this or whatever. Yes, yeah. uh, dark hair or something. And it's, uh, yeah. yeah, we uh, help each other with this. And do you have a special photographer that does the shooting or uh, you we, guys know how to do it? Well, we, we have people that are actually very good at uh, shooting. Yeah, we have yeah. very skilled photographers that yeah. are working in post-production either or in 3D. So we, we have it internally, which is yeah. good. Perfect. Yeah. So this here is my favorite place when we have the parties because... You play I, football. Yeah, I play, I play football. We have good teams and uh, it's very funny to, you know, relax a little. And have some extra competition. Yeah. Competition. <laughs> competition is very fierce here, by the way. Perfect. <laughs> this is the biggest floor and uh, many more teams in different engagements are here. So, for instance, we have administration team here, which is one half of the administration team. I'm not gonna tell you what they're doing because it's mostly secret. <laughs> it's not good to share. We have even more 3D teams here. So the third floor is not the only 3D compartment. We also have the animation team which is quite a big team they strictly do animations only without post-production of the animation again because we have a separate team for this only the 3d only the 3d but strictly animation yeah. so we have 3d on the left as well <laughs> and we're going down to the post-production video post-production team so okay, it's like the color grading yeah the color grading of our cutting animation. together the videos yeah. transitions uh, um, so do you guys do animation for architecture or you do generally animation also for, uh, I don't know, product placement or like sort of uh, special effects for short movies or it's mainly animation that regards um, architecture? It's more about architecture but yeah. not, not only this, I, I would say. For short films, no, we don't do for short films. We're, we're doing for it. 
we are doing we're ourselves. We're going yeah. for it, yeah. but mostly architecture, yeah, because we're focused a lot on architecture overall. And but I think we're we're moving forward forward to something new. I cannot say what. <laughs> so we're gonna stay tuned and follow Red yeah. Vertex to see stay where it, where it develops. So let's yeah. go check the post production, guys. our post-production team here it's four four tables yeah and these are the magic makers so here they receive the images from downstairs or yeah. from the people that sit in the other side of the room and uh, they start then doing all the people yeah yeah what kind of things you do in post-production oh mood enhancements of course people light if, if they're light fixing if light yeah fixing. It depends on the on the project usually. It is very cool because uh, we actually talk to each other and we fix some things together, so they have an easy job when we when they receive the renders. I, I sure hope so that they have an easy job from our side. But uh, some things they do, some things we do, we can help each other, which is very nice. Yeah, this is very interesting to, to have the collaboration between yeah. two, two people to, to create an image. For me this is very, yeah. very cool because you have communication, you have to kind of be uh, in one uh, way length, if I can say it like that, uh, with, with the person that is doing the, the post-production of your image. So again, when somebody joins the office, they can start, uh, depending on their skill set, they can start whether here or downstairs. Uh, or I mean just modeling and yeah. then do you have the opportunity to switch teams if you wanted to if you want sure. to learn modeling do you yeah. have also some internal classes I know you have sort of an academy at Red yeah. Vertex yeah. Uh, we are going to show the, the space uh, upstairs in the fifth floor but yeah. yeah it depends on your skills actually you uh, can start and there's always someone that is looking after your uh, progression here so you might notice at some point that you need to do something else with your life and you go in post-production so it's fine if that's what makes you happy Sounds yeah. great. About uh, adopting. <laughs> yeah. So this is the, the academy space. We have computers just to, to have the, the opportunity to show everybody what we're doing. Here we teach 3D, I guess, and <laughs> this is what I, I can say. Is it for internal purposes? Like you uh, have also kind of a internal um, sharing skills uh, classes because I guess that some of the people are more skilled in a yeah. particular field. Yeah. Um, and as I told you, I've heard about uh, um, Red Vertex Academy. Mm -hmm. I think it's for also external people that can join. Yeah, How can they join? And here, talk? this space is for external purposes. We have a interior, interior uh, academies. So we Both where we also. Yeah. yeah, we are thinking about it, and we are trying to to set up an international course as well. For internal purposes, we, we had the, the room in the fourth floor, the, the big uh, space, <laughs> or in the big orange room, yeah, uh, where actually we, we have our internal education, education. lessons, courses. It's uh, both academy and internal education is with uh, lecturers that are our colleagues. I mean, he's working 3D, but he's also doing lectures to educate people so everything is done internally which is amazing actually how, how often do you have those uh, the internal ones yeah uh, is it spontaneous or you have the company like reserve so because i mean guys i guess you're busy so uh, yeah. when do you find the time to <laughs> actually learn something new we just so find it we we have to find the, the way because uh, computers you you know technology we oh, you also always have to, to learn new things. It's, it's inevitable, <laughs> we, we have to adapt. But uh, internal courses, we, we usually do them once a year because of course everybody has work to do. But uh, in order to kind of uh, teach the, the new people in the, in the company, we have them once a year, but yeah. they're in like 15, uh, for example, lectures, um, yeah, yeah. it's Recorded. for Railcon, for Forest, for whatever composition and, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. 
How many nationalities works here, by the way? I was seeing oh. that there are several people that <laughs> several. are not so fluent in Bulgarian when we were going through the floors. Yeah, um, well, we have uh, Spanish people Spanish from uh, Egypt. From also. Egypt, yeah, some Indian uh, from guys. India, yeah. We have people from Croatia. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. We had an Italian guy that oh, went yeah. to... And now he, he works from... From home in, in Italia. He's but. actually back, but he still works for Red Vertex. So also there is the opportunity that if somebody is good, they can work from their location according to like the company is open for these yeah. kind of yeah. things. Yeah. Well, that's why we also have the offices around the world, and we're expanding because it gives you an opportunity to first uh, try something new and uh, learn <laughs> about a new country or something, but. At the same time, if you feel comfortable working there, it, it is a possibility, for sure. It's very cool, actually. Yeah. And, and you guys mentioned the role of associate. Um, what, what exactly is associate and how, how can you eventually become one? Well, uh, the, the role of uh, associate, uh, for me, means that uh, you can communicate with, with clients and you can also do 3D, 3D work. But you also have, let's say, uh, a team of five people that you need to take care of. So yeah, it's a complex job, but at the end, uh, well, that's why you're an associate, right? Yeah, it's, it's highly rewarding, actually. And I'm speaking as in experience, because you get to uh, communicate with a lot of people, not only clients, but everyone around you need to be very positive and communicative person person as a whole so yeah also like have some leadership skills i guess yeah, so yeah maybe yeah. i should have started uh, with this you have a team so you you have to deal with with these parts as well yeah there is also other career opportunity to be an expert that for example you're an expert in the in your field and you kind of do your your thing and you're not uh, a leader of a, of a team. Exactly. This is the good thing about here is that you can uh, see you, we have a lot of people and everybody's different so if you want to be an expert in technicality and uh, 3D or modeling you can do that and if you want to lead people or do something more administrative that's also an option so you have an opportunity for everything. Whoever wants to join um, Red Vertex from anywhere in the world, because I mean, we guys saw all the facilities and all the opportunities and the great projects you're working on. Is Red Vertex mainly open for people that have already lots of experience, or can you join the team also a little bit as a more beginner level and grow up to learn most of the tools? Everything is possible as long as you really want to evolve and. and grow in this thing. If you don't have experience, because we do have colleagues that start from zero. Actually, I started from zero. <laughs> I didn't have any experience, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. And six years later, I, I feel much more confident, which is amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, we give the opportunity to people to learn. So, this is the first thing. If you want to learn, you can do it. It's, it's absolutely possible. Yeah, it's from beginners to, to advanced people, yeah. it's, it's open to, to everybody. Some personal works that we do outside of the, uh, the company, let's say in our free time. We have some, some great, great stuff, everybody's uh, different, everybody has their own way of actually showing what they like and, and to express themselves. For example, this is uh, my thing I, I did like four years ago. Are you guys all educated architects mainly here or are there other kind of designers? Well, uh, it's a mix. It's a mix. Not yeah. everybody... Some people haven't even gotten close to, to art and architecture and they still have it in, in them. So. We have lawyers, <laughs> educated lawyers, <laughs> yeah. working as leading, so it's fascinating. It's, it's, a, it's really a mix. Uh, there are designers, there are architects, there are, uh, as she, she said, uh, some people are not from the, from, even from these designer-focused uh, fields. 
but uh, as long as you are cool about it and uh, want to, uh, to learn, yeah, we are, the, the company is open to, to everybody. Okay guys, thank you very much for the awesome tour of your office. It was amazing, thank you very much. And uh, have a great work day. <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you for, you too. And for your time as well. <laughs> hope to see that where things growing and maybe next time you give me a tour in Dubai or somewhere else around the world. Oh, okay, that would be cool. Yeah, great. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.